Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another fly time video this week, and this week I got a Euronymph pattern for you. Uh, it's one that's a very popular one, it's been around for a little bit now, and it's, uh, it's a Tory Collins pattern, which he shared with George Daniels, and George Daniels is kind of the one that made it famous. It's called the Gasolina. It's a very simple Pertagon, and Pertagons just work. Um, this is actually tied with the hen's body material, the Pertagon body material, number 233, the dark brown. And uh, it's a great color, but because, it, because George shared it and it became famous, you can't find the material anymore. So what I've been using is the two, number 220 deep green, and it works, okay guys? It's not that much difference. When, uh, if you would watch George's video, he actually talks about changing the color of the thread underneath it and it makes different, different colored bodies, which it does. You change the color of the thread under this, it's going to make a completely different colored fly. Um, another thing, I'm going to show you a picture right here of the one that I'm using, the number 220, the deep green. Here you see it's exact same spools, but it's two different lots and it comes as two different colors. One is lighter colored, one is darker color. So even if you get the correct 233, it might not be exactly like the one George uses. That's the way the fly tying material works. If you go into a fly shop and you look, um, check out the dubbing sometimes. You'll see drastic changes from one pack of dubbing to another that was from two different lots. It's just the way it goes and that's what we have to, that's the world we live in. So we have to adjust to it. That's one of the things I want to stress to you. There's two things that I have, two rule of thumb that I have with fly tying. One, which is just my rule, if it can go on a jig hook, it goes on a jig hook. Two, use what you have. Substitute material and use what you have. You can't find number 233. So if you can't find it, you can't use it. So I'm using 220 putting a Keller thread under it that looks just like the 233 when it's done, and it works. Um, I haven't been fishing this one. Uh, I don't fish a lot of Pertagons. I do in the spring, but it, I like to mess around with other things. My dad has had a lot of success with this fly, though. Um, so this fly really does work, and it works in the Keller I'm showing you here. So use what you can get your hands on. This number 220, I can get my hands on it. We have it in the shop. When we have the you know, we try all the time to get the number 233, but we can't always get it, so we don't always have it in stock. So use what you can. Um, and I'm going to say, too, like I always, my rule of thumb is if I can tie it on a jig hook, I tie it on a jig hook. This one, I'm going to tie on a regular hook because most of you might not have jig hooks. You know, if you're a beginning tire, you might not have the jig hooks and slotted beads, but you probably have a nymph hook with regular beads, so use them. You don't have to have exactly what the pattern calls for. This is a great example of that. So here you're gonna see a picture of the fly and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the gasolina. This one you can see I tied on a jig hook. Um, I'm going to tie it in the video on a regular hook. The hook I'm going to use is a fire hole 633. And it's just a regular nymph hook. I'm tying it in a size 16. The bead I'm using is a 2.5 millimeter copper tungsten bead. And for thread, I'm using light olive. Now, if you change the color of thread under here, you're gonna get a different color of Pertagon, but the light olive is pretty close to the original pattern here. So that's what we're gonna go with. So just gonna start that on there, and I'm gonna wrap it back towards the back of the hook before we put the tail on. For the tail, I'm using some Cock Daily On. This is actually a black feather that I had laying around. Um, it's such thin material. Use whatever you have handy. Um, you could use hen hackle if you wanted here. That would work great too. If you have medium pardo, that's what I normally tie with because I have a big saddle full of it. Go with that. But what I'm looking for is the length of the hook shank. And I'm just going to start that on on top. A couple loose wraps. And then I'm going to pull that to the length that I want it. 
And then we're gonna wrap back towards the bend. And I do not wanna go over the bend. I wanna stop before the bend. And with this longer shank nymph hook, I don't have to go that far and you still get a nice length to it. So trim off the butt section there and then we're going to put on the uh, Pertagone's body. And this is number uh, 220 and I'm just going to start it on top here and I'm going to wrap it back towards the back again. I'm going to stop it right there at the tail. And then I'm going to wrap forward. And you notice here I'm keeping it very, very thin. So I put my tail on by wrapping back and wrapping forward. I put my Pertagon body on by wrapping back and wrapping forward and getting right up in there behind that bead. And now I'm just going to wrap this forward. And it's just going to keep a nice thin body here. So I like to just cut off a long, because a long piece of it and use it to tie a couple flies. And the reason is, is because it's a little bit awkward of a spool. It's kind of small. So it's just easy for me to do it this way. Now, I'm going to make about three wraps to lock that in place. And I'm going to cut the um, tinsel off. And then I'm just going to make a real small three wrap whip finish. If you want, you could end it right there and you would have a nice simple body. I like hot spots, so I'm going to tie a hot spot on this one. I'm going to put a pink one. And all I'm going to do is make about three wraps on there and then cut my tag end off. And I'm going to make a three wrap whip finish. Okay, I do not want to go big. I just want to be visible. That's it. I'm trying to keep this as small as possible. So cut that off as close as I can there. And then I'm going to finish this off with some solar res bone dry. Uh, you could use Sally Hansen's here if you want to. You could use, you know, whatever nail polish you have or whatever. I'm a commercial tire and I want to get it done as quickly as possible. So I'm going to use some solar res bone dry and it'll be done instantly. And I won't have to worry about it drying or spinning on a, on a dryer or something like that. And that is all that's to that simple fly that catches a lot of fish. Alright guys, I hope you like that pattern. It's a great pattern and it catches fish. And one of the, another thing I want to stress to you guys, um, you know, I said about not having the exact material. Think about how you're fishing this fly. You're not going to drop this in still water and have this just hanging underneath an indicator in a lake. This is a nymph pattern. It's a pertagon. It's meant to get down in fast water and get there quick, okay? You're fishing this in fast water. If you're fishing it right, this fly is going to buzz by the trout's head. He's not going to know the difference if you have number 233 or number 220. He's just going to see it's the right size, it's close to the right color. I'm going to take it because this is the meal. And if I don't take this meal, I might not get the next meal. So he's going to hit it out of reaction. We're not worried about having everything exactly right. It doesn't matter. We Don't overthink trout. That's the biggest mistake I think you can make in fishing world. A trout will eat a cigarette butt, okay? Don't overthink them. Don't put so much stock in. This is the original pattern. That's what it has to be. Use what you have. Use what you have. Use what you can get your hands on, and you'll have a lot more fun tying because you won't stress over needing non-important things. So have fun tying, guys. Like I said, we carry this material in the shop. When we can get the 233, we'll have it on the website but or in the shop. But you can't always get it. We try hard to get it, but there's other options out there. Mess around, have fun, and enjoy tying, guys. That's what this is all about. That's why we love this sport so much. If you need the material, look us up on our website. If you need me to tie any of these for you, I'm more than happy to do that. Just reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. So next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.